Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Windows programs, Mac software, and iOS? Let's do this! Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo. And your tech topic for today is how to streamline your software needs. Hi, I'm Kurt Schmucker, a product manager at Parallels. So here I have uh, Windows 7 running on my iMac for measuring the performance of IE. We're getting 59 frames per second. Anything more than 60 is a waste, so we're at the very edge. We're claiming in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 percent improvement overall in graphics, but one magazine reported more than a 400 percent improvement in DirectX performance in Parallels Desktop 9. StarCraft is an example of a real-time strategy game, RTS. So I'll just show you a little bit of it running, just to give you the feeling for the performance here. Running inside a virtual machine. I'll generate some more workers. And of course I can grab one of these guys. I can mouse down it, can move it over here. And the speed is just great. Just what you'd expect on a game like this. We've fixed the two biggest usability concerns in Windows 8. We've added the start menu back. Look at that. It makes Windows 8 so much more usable. So even if you're a Windows user, you're going to want to use this software. And in Parallels Desktop 9, in addition to the Start menu, you can also run Metro apps inside Windows on your desktop. So you can actually see two of them running at the same time. Oops, I think we mean modern, not Metro. So you have a better Windows 8 machine for most people running Windows 8 than dedicated PCs running Windows 8. I think so. Effectively, you're making it possible for a Windows 8 or 8.1 user to never see the start screen. You can launch modern UI applications right here. This is a preference in Parallels Desktop 9 that allows you to connect with your applications from Parallels Access, a new product from Parallels. Both Parallels Desktop 9 and Parallels Access are available now. And what Parallels Access does is give you control of your Mac and Windows applications you have running on other machines. And right now, you're mirroring your iPad screen up onto the iMac. That's exactly correct, to make give you a better view. I'll just tap on Access, and here are the various machines I've configured to connect to with Parallels Access. And you'll see the user interface of Parallels Access is very application-centric. So let me start text edit, for example, on the top of the screen. I'm going to scroll this just by moving my finger on the iPad screen like this. This is a Mac application. I'm going to select a word by double tapping on it. And notice it has the iOS selection handles. I can take that selection handle and modify that, select more text. And now, I, for example, I could copy it, go to another application, paste that in place. So full copy and paste support for text and graphics between Mac applications and iOS applications. Each uh, document is showing full screen on the iPad. And this gets, one, gets rid of one of the problems you have in accessing applications for the Mac or Windows from an iPad is the difference in screen sizes. How do I get back to my other document? We've added a new user interface here that shows you all the documents that are running. And from here, you can just tap on the thumbnail and go back to another document. You're effectively using Parallels Access to access applications installed on your Mac remotely from your iPad here. Correct. Here are all the applications available on that iMac back in my office. Makes you kind of wish you had a Mac now, huh? Well, there's a possibility we're doing a giveaway, and we'll tell you about that in just a second. Or two. Or four. The Windows applications show up on my launch area here just as if they were Mac applications which is exactly the way Parallels Desktop presents them. With Word for Windows, I'll open up a document. I can select text there. I can use the, the controls in the ribbon. Let's make it red, for example, like that. Let's make it bold. So you have access to all the features of the full featured programs, all from your iPad. And the beauty of Parallels Access, because you can control all the applications on either a Mac or a Windows machine. You can just take your iPad with you. So most of your standard iPad gestures work on this application, even though this is an unmodified version of Microsoft Word for Windows. So the only thing you have to be concerned about is to make sure that remote machine is turned on and has access to the Internet. So what I'm doing here is running Internet Explorer in a virtual machine on my iMac under Parallels Desktop 9 and I'm accessing the screen 
with Parallels Access on my iPad. So I'm using Internet Explorer <laughs> on an iPad. Every person who purchases a new copy of Parallels Desktop 9 or upgrades their existing one to Parallels Desktop 9 gets a complimentary free six month subscription to Parallels Access. And I've put that link for you in the video's description. Go ahead, tap it or click it or whatever you do to activate the link. We wanted to make sure people had the equipment to run both these pieces of software. So we're doing a giveaway. But instead of giving away Kurt's iMac, we're gonna give you a new one. And to qualify, all you need to do is tweet a link to this video, then be sure to include at ParallelsMac and at Chris Perillo in the tweet. Then stay tuned to all of our social channels and follow us and subscribe to find out who's going to get it.